All right, NASCAR fans, I have good news and I have some bad news. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. Let's start with the good news, right? Everybody likes to have good news. We're not getting a thousand horsepower. It's not that good of news if we're being completely honest. But what is good news is the fact that NASCAR is getting another Saturday night race in 2025. Atlanta's second date moves from the playoffs to June 28th, 2025. That is a Saturday night race next season. It'll be the first race of TNT's portion of the schedule. The first race of the new bracket challenge as well. Because if you're going to have a bracket challenge, you might as well just throw it into absolute chaos in the first actual week of it think of like the first week of march madness and you have a 16 seed trying to upset a one seed something along those lines if you're going to do it you might as well just have a ton of just absolute chaos and i'm here for it embrace the chaos right because at the end of the day this bracket challenge doesn't mean anything towards the championship it's just another way for drivers to make some cash for themselves so people continue to say I see it all the time. People in the comments are like, we need more Saturday night races. I'd much rather watch on a Saturday night than a Sunday night. Well, that's a different story. We're not getting into it. So here's your chance. Because currently, we only have two Saturday night races on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule in 2024. That would be the Daytona Summer Race. That is a Saturday night. And the Bristol Night Race. Again, a Saturday night. So next year, we're at least getting three of them. Because you know that Bristol Night Race will always be a Saturday night. The Daytona Summer Race cutoff will once again be the regular season finale in 2025. And it will be a Saturday night race once again. And we're getting an Atlanta race on Saturday night as well. It's not that NASCAR wants to have a Saturday night race in June in Atlanta. It's more about human survival at this point. Because it's going to be hotter than Jeff Gordon's car at Darlington in 2007. Atlanta at the end of June, that's just not fit for human civilization. Hats off to all the people that live in the Southeast. Because I don't know how you do it. It gets hotter than hell down there. And everybody's just like, yeah, this is normal. No, it's not normal. I'm sweating too much. And granted, where I live, it gets hot and it gets humid. And it's just a real recipe for not having a great time. But I just can't imagine living in the South with some of the heat. So... Like I said, it's exciting that we're having a Saturday night race. Hopefully everybody tunes in, right? Saturday night races traditionally don't get as good of ratings as the uh, Sunday races do. So hopefully the people tune in to watch it. I think it's intriguing. Obviously, it's going to be on cable and on streaming. So how the ratings come out is going to be a little bit different. But it's something new, right? Atlanta gets their Saturday night race back. So we'll be here for it. Now, on the bad news front, I have more good news, but we're going to go to bad news real quick. Bad news. If you like watching those NASCAR in-car cameras that you can watch on NASCAR.com uh, for free right now in their race center, I have bad news for you. Because starting in 2025, those onboard cameras, yeah, they'll now be behind a paywall and only streaming exclusively on Max. It was HBO Max, and then they decided that HBO had too much brand equity in it, so they went ahead and scrapped it and just called it Max, which is super confusing because there's no brand value in the term Max, but that's neither here nor there. It's just really stupid decision-making on Warner Brothers' part. But whatever, we're happy they're here, right? Maybe. So all those onboard cameras that you can watch currently for free on NASCAR.com will now go behind the paywall. And DirecTV did something like this uh, back in the day. They called it Hot Pass, and you could, you know, subscribe and have that on, you know, your television for you. So now you can still have it on streaming. It's just going to be behind a paywall. So I assume that that means that you're going to at least get some sort of interface on the stream as well to show you running position, maybe a ticker, uh, hopefully the telemetry of the car. Because right now, if you don't have that, that's really lame. That's going to be really bad. Now, I don't love the move at all. I think this is a terrible move. I, I'm i not going to subscribe to Max solely for that. I understand the move. I don't like the move. That makes a lot of sense, right? So, yeah, I know there's a lot of people that are going to be upset about that. And if you're going to have it be behind a paywall, these onboard cameras have to be in better locations. They've gotten better this year. But sometimes you're just basically looking right at, like, the cow area of the hood and you can't see anything. It's like, why would I even watch this? Why? I don't understand it. So, yeah, I don't love the move at all. I know that's going to make a lot of people angry. And I understand the anger behind it because, again... I have no problem with NASCAR going to streaming. I have no problem with Prime. I have no problem with them doing the Max TNT thing as well. I think it's a step forward for the sport and something they need to do to attract, a, you know, a bigger or younger audience. I don't love when you take something that was previously free and put it behind a paywall just for the sake of putting it behind a paywall, unless it's getting exponentially better, in which case I understand that. 
So, yeah, I, this is a real toss-up for me. But I do have more good news. Exciting news, actually. And that's that NASCAR will be testing the wet weather package at Homestead Miami Speedway in the middle of September of this year. I saw somebody on Twitter ask Bob, what happens if it doesn't rain in Florida in September? Okay, you show me a Florida in the middle of September where it doesn't rain. It always rains. There's always going to be rain around. But if it doesn't rain, they have hoses, they have sprinklers, they'll spray the track down real quick. So, which is honestly what's going to happen because they're probably going to test this, you know, in the morning. Whatever. Doesn't matter. This is a good move right here. NASCAR, of course, on ovals does not race in the rain. They'll race, you know, about, what, 45 minutes before the track would actually be ready. Let the cars go out there and race around in the damp conditions. Don't call it rain tires. They are wet weather tires on ovals. And right now they currently use it on the short tracks, right? You can have it um, anything under a mile outside of Dover. I think I don't believe Dover has the wet weather package for it, but Bristol did this year. We saw them use it at Richmond. We saw them use it last year at North Wilkesboro for the cup series. So they've used it before. And honestly, it made Richmond really exciting for 30 laps. And the next 370 laps were less than exciting. But to for them to be trialing it at an intermediate track is certainly interesting. Not that NASCAR needs to have something that maybe spices things up at intermediates because right now the Gen 7 car races exceptionally well at intermediate tracks. But, you know, just having something to maybe spice things up a little bit. But maybe it's just to spice things up a little bit because who doesn't like throwing a nice little jalapeno into something and just being unexpectedly spiced out by it so at least you know you have this opportunity for them to test it will they use it that remains to be seen they will not use it this year they did say that they said regardless of how the test goes it is not an option for this season obviously a lot of it comes down to how much spray is kicked up uh with this wet weather tire and you know on the track and, and how that all looks because if it's too much then they're not going to do it but for all the people that are like just put rain tires on an oval it'll be perfectly fine well, you're going to get your chance, but they'll never actually race in full on rain. That's just way too, way too dangerous and way too stupid to actually do that. So two good pieces of news and one unfortunate piece of news. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.